So there was this young lady at my high school who talked about nothing but East Texas State University. That's all she talked about. So me and a couple of buddies of mine decided to get in the car one Saturday, drive to Commerce. We knocked on a random guy's dorm room. He opened the door, he showed us around, and I was hooked. The hospitality of that guy, he showed us around campus and I fell in love. It was the right size where I felt really comfortable. So I talked to a counselor on campus and I guess I talked her ear off and talked a lot. So she said, have you thought about radio, television, communication? She suggested that I take uh, an announcing class. And if you don't like it, you can use it as an elective. But if you do like it, maybe you can find uh, what you want to do for your career. And I took the announcing class and absolutely loved it. My senior year, they decided to let the students do the high school football games on the radio and commerce. And a lot of people auditioned for it. And I got the sideline reporter job. And once I did that, that season, I was absolutely, totally hooked, realizing this is exactly what I want to do. This is the career path I want to be on. And that was the deciding factor for me. The hands-on experience that we got in the radio television department 100% prepared me for uh, work and what I'm doing right now. Without that program, the radio television program, I will not, I can't tell you I'll be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now. This next year will be the third year for me being the PA voice for the Commerce football games. So now knowing that I'm the stadium voice for my old college is, is pretty fun. One of the uh, goals that I had, and, and Dr. Elvis told me to do this, is write your goals down on a piece of paper. And one of the goals that I had was to have a show with my name on it. I didn't know if it's going to be talk radio or music radio, but that's what I wanted. So in 2015, when I moved over with uh, Norm, there's the show with my name on it. It's Norm Hitzkus and Donovan Lewis. And it's like, OK, that's that was a really proud moment. But just to have those steps and realizing some of the dreams that uh, that have come true are, are, are pretty cool. I'm a member of uh, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. I, I pledged my second semester of my freshman year, so I was four and a half years in my fraternity. I, had, I grew up with two sisters, so I never had a brother, and now all of a sudden I'm surrounded by these guys that are uh, my brothers and my brothers for life and some of the special relationships that I still hold and cherish to this day. But those, those memories will never be forgotten. Those guys are, are my guys and they'll stay my guys forever. She, uh, she grew up with a couple of guys that were our fraternity brothers, so that's how we met. And uh, we stayed friends for a couple of years on campus and then the last year I was down there, we started, you know, okay, yeah, she's kind of cute, he's kind of cute. You know, we started thinking about trying to get together. And then when I graduated, she graduated the summer of 93 and she moved to Dallas with her grandmother. And then that's when we started dating. And it's, that's uh, what, 93? That's 20, 29 years ago, so. I have a domino tournament that I started a few years ago and it benefits a charity called At Last. And At Last is a boarding experience in South Oak Cliff, in the neighborhood where I grew up, where it takes kids from the school that I went to and allows them to focus on their studies and nutrition and all that because uh, the people that grew up in my neighborhood sometimes are at a disadvantage. And then we've raised over $300,000 for at last, just thanks to the generosity of everybody who listens and all the other stuff to the station. One of the greatest pieces of advice that I will give anyone that wants to get in this business is just be yourself because I think a lot of people can see right through you if you're trying to be someone else, if you're trying to be fake, if you're just spouting out opinions just for the heck of it and you don't believe what you're saying, then they can see right through that. And I think that takes away from what you're trying to do. So I just would want people to say, hey, he was the same off the air as he was on the air. My parents really focused on education and they wanted us to better ourselves but not have the burden of you know, the student debt. My mom borrowed against her 401k for my entire college education. I did not leave commerce with a single cent of student debt. And I can't thank her enough for that.